shoot stop please be real shut the front door that would be really cool yeah. another day at the beach still a little overcast it's uh not too early in the morning crazy amount of people parked right now so i don't know if it's just people surfing or or what but parking is crazy crowded i'm actually going to use my equinox 800 today just kind of give it a run and see if i still miss it uh at 900 i've had a mixed relationship so we're going to give uh give it a shot at going uh vintage with the 800 and see how we like it got a high tone 24 25 on the equinox 800 should be in the scoop huh. Huh, i'm not sure where it went There it is. And I'm gonna say dime. And I think it is indeed a green dime. Got a mid-tone, 12 to 14. Usually pull tab territory. Got a little bit of water. Gravel looks great, by the way. That's a 16. Still not seeing it. No, oh, you can see something. A little piece of brass actually cop well can't tell if it's copper or brass something something metal low tone right here <laughs> it's showing up as a one so probably either uh it gets in some sort of scrap oh you know what i think it is well i don't know what that is Get it off the beach. Just got to target down the wet. 2324. Sounds like a coin. And it is a piece of scrap copper. Probably boat hardware of some sort. Got a mid tone right here. 17 You see a little chunk of aluminium also known as a blob you write Another big blob you write Got a 20. Let you guys listen to this. <clears throat> Traditionally, 2022, that's traditionally a penny. I think it's going to actually be a blob, you're right. Um, it just sounds kind of large. Well, and I think I see a big piece of aluminum right there. Yep, really odd shaped blob, you're right. Uh, between a 15 and a 20 and oftentimes that's just a really beat up zinc penny okay called it and there it is oh, that's actually almost spendable yeah yeah now 
whole back of it's eaten away. Never ever spendable. It's a little, little cut here. It's not very big. My buddy hit it pretty hard the other day and he got a ton of stuff. Um, but what's interesting, if you look, you can see the old kind of clayish, and I'm calling it dirt, right below the surface. And so as this was eroding the last time we had high tide, you can see, and actually I think it's probably last night because it doesn't have a lot of footprints on it, that it's actually kind of etched little channels in it. If I hadn't known my buddy had uh, cleaned this place out pretty hard, this would be what I'd be looking for. Just enough of an erosion to move some product from up above down. And a lot of times it'll lay on this heavy stuff and sometimes you'll actually just see it laying right on top. When I was a kid, we would, uh, we called it money tide because we would go out and walk out on the beach when it was like this and we would find coins all over the surface and then uh, we would take them to the store to buy candy. And the guy at the store collected coins, so he would make us soak it in vinegar, then bring them in so that he could uh, keep the uh, silver ones and whatnot. But this whole, you know, kind of erosion process is what we really kind of look for. This is extremely small cut, maybe 16, 17 inches tall, but on a good storm, this will actually cut down and all this old sand, as you can see, and again, it's really kind of a, you know, almost looks like a clay-based, dark, dark sand. Um, is full of stuff down below. And so once that starts moving, you start getting older and older targets revealed. Old coins, old jewelry. So, little bit of beach information. Hopefully it's helpful. I think I have target right here. A lot of black sand, so it's a uh, Doesn't sound real good. Whatever it is, I think it's really small. And part of a fork. When I say part of a fork, I mean one of the tiny little, uh, I don't know what you call it, the forks of a fork. Yum, yum. But the fact that I'm finding small objects in black sand makes me realize that uh, my detector is working pretty well. A low, about a three. Usually aluminum. And I think I either see stainless steel or aluminum. Yeah, it's a little piece of stainless steel actually. All right. Got a high tone, see if you guys can hear it with the waves behind you. My volume turned all the way up. 24, 25, usually a dime or a copper penny. And this seems, it sounds really clean, so. That's what I think it's gonna be. Okay, see something right there. And it is a copper penny. Green, green, green. Barely audible low to mid tone right here. Sound a little bit better now that it's down there. It's still getting a lot of negative too, so could be iron. This machine tends not to be as uh, iron friendly as the other machine. It's gonna be a really small piece of, uh, I'm picking aluminum. Maybe lead, maybe a tiny lead fishing weight is what I'm actually now thinking, because that's what it is. It's known as a split shot. Yeah. Take this little guy right here, and when you pinch these guys, I'm gonna do it with my tooth in a second, or teeth in a second, it'll open up. It makes room for you to put a fishing line right there. And then you close it back up with your pliers, and now you have weight on your line. There you go, for those who didn't know. 
I have two mid-tones side by side. I've got one here, and I've got one here. This one sounds a little bit bigger, so we'll do this one first. Doesn't sound like a great, you know, clean target, but it does sound uh, pretty loud. I think I see possibly a pull tab. Yep, there's my pull tab right there. Nailed it with the scoop. There you go. There it is in its full regalia. What a beautiful pull tab it is. And uh, let's bet it's around a 14 or 15. Boom. One thing I like about this machine is it is pretty pure in its signals. And uh, it sounds really good. And look, it is pretty much dead nuts on 14. So, but I've got a lot of rings at 14 as well. So don't not dig 14s. It's a bad idea. Right, let's go see what's down below it. So that was that target. Now this one's coming up 11 or 12, but it's really not as big, so we'll see. When I say it's big, I mean the target doesn't have a very clean or loud offering. I think I see maybe a little piece of copper of some sort. And a little thin piece of copper if you look at how close these two holes were um, you hope you kind of hit a debris field and you start seeing targets that close doesn't mean there are there could be just two of them there but a lot of times when I get multiple targets that close together I start hitting an area where you start finding multiple targets a lot of times I like to prospect until I find that and then I'll just stay in that area and work it Mid-tone, 15 to 17. Could be aluminum, could be a broken zinc penny. Definitely doesn't sound like a great target, but again, I've been fooled before and I'd like to be fooled in a good way. I had a lot of things that sounded great that were horrible and got a lot of things. Oh shoot, stop, please be real. Please be real. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't think it is real. Oh, that's a possibility. Boy, that is a possibility. Shut the front door. That would be really cool. Nah, I think it's going to be costume. Ah, <laughs> another heartbreaker. Well, yeah, it just doesn't look right. It looks, uh, it looks cheap. Um, just by its construction, I'm gonna say that that is junk. But it is jewelry. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it. You can see where it broke right there. But yeah, just looking at the clasp, it all just looks really cheaply made. So, got some little blingy stones around. It looks like it's a religious, some sort of a religious uh, bracelet. Got a barely audible three right here. Usually aluminum and uh, you know stainless steel. Sounds pretty small as well. Yeah, I think I see a little piece of stainless steel right there. Yep. A little piece of hardware. Got a 10, 12 here. <clears throat> Low tone. Still a 10, 12. Actually sounds really, really good. Still don't see anything though. Uh, I think I see a little aluminum right there. Yep. Tiny globulate. 1819 mid-tone. Usually it's a banged up zinc penny or globulate. 
Well, let me see, I think it's part of a toy car. Let's see red paint. It's usually what that is, is a part of a die cast car. It's met its doom in the ocean. It's another tiny fishing weight, little split shot. And I think, <laughs> I'm going to check this history out, but that uh, the way these things got started is shotgun shot, they would actually take their knives and cut a little slice in the shotgun shot, and that is why they're called split shot. The better ones actually have little ears in the back of them, this one doesn't, this is like the original split shot, and you just basically put your line right through that little hole, that little uh, slice right there, and then crimp it with some pliers and you got weight. Out of the hole, this thing sounded so good. 16, which is right in the area I like to be. You hear that really, really strong. And it is a little fishing weight. Sometimes these things can just sound perfect. Right on 16. I can't tell you how many uh, gold rings I found that were 16. So yeah, great sound. Not so great a target. Got a high tone, it's in the 30s, uh, which is really, really high, but then again, it's not, it's not very crisp. So part of me kind of thinks 10 steak, just because they'll do that as well. Well, it actually might be a, another fishing weight, almost identical to the last one. Let's see what it rings up here. Now it's an 18, but it was a 30 in the hole, so thought it was a quarter. Got a pretty big low tone, 5.6. Normally, I'm going to say can slot. It'd be awesome if it was a chain, um, which is what they often will do is bring up in those same areas, but I'm going to say some piece of aluminum. I'm not seeing it yet. Thought I saw something, but no. Oh, wait a minute. I do see something. And I think it is a little copper or brass. Uh, oh my God, grommet. A little grommet or half of a grommet. Had what sound like iron in the hole. 19 or 20 out. I think. I think I, maybe I see another fishing weight. Yep. That's exactly what it is. A little bit bigger than the other two. Well, other four, but there were two that looked just like this, but they were a little bit smaller. I like it when heavy things are in the sand, so I'm a good sign that we're at least finding fishing weights. Really not finding any coins or anything like that, so not a ton of targets out here got a high tone in the 30s again i don't believe that there's anything that big or that kind of thinking it's gonna be a blob you're right or something along those lines maybe even a 10 stake oh actually it's a big old fishing weight Ooh, i like finding big old fishing weights when i say old what I mean by that is, look at the discoloration in that. It's been out here a long time. And uh, when you start finding them that are that old, it's a good sign because that means older targets are nearby, hopefully. I've got a really clean 18. Seventeen, eighteen, pretty solid signal and tide is coming in Making me a little nervous it's this deep. Uh, I think I just saw a big piece of copper. Big flat piece of copper. 
Yep. Big piece of copper sheet. It's kind of like a bird. Like if I put the eye, the little sheet shell there, it looks like a like a chick. <laughs> All right, 29. Actually sounds really clean. Two and up to 32, so maybe a quarter. No. What the heck? Oh, you know what that is? Yeah. Found one of these out here not too long ago. It's a giant bullet projectile. The size of that thing. It is one big bullet. Out of 12, kind of figured it might be a piece of aluminum. Didn't film it. And it's a giant piece of copper wire. Man, it sounded good coming out of the hole, though. Vintage pull tab. These things ring up 16s because they're all solid right there. These are kind of a trip. I've only found a few of them. But they're actually iron fishing weights. And uh, you get a little bit of a kind of a mid to low tone on them at first. And then they go all iron on you. And that's because they're made out of all iron. High tone. 25 to 27. I'm going to say dime just to guess. Oh, nope. It's a wine cap. JJS, whatever the hell that means. All right, here's the wrap up. And I would normally say this is the worst wrap up ever, but I honestly think it's a, <laughs> a tiny bit better than the last one. Uh, somebody got a new boogie board, a body board, and uh, decided that uh, walking this about 10 feet to the trash can was just too much. So left on the beach for me to pick up. Uh, somebody enjoyed their ketchup on hot sauce. Um, Again, I don't like Jack in the Box hot sauce nearly as much as Taco Bell, but I really don't like any of it left on the beach. So if you come down and have a taco, do me a favor. Take your hot sauce back it with you. Uh, part of a firework from 4th of July. Uh, did get this JJ. Um, again, I don't drink wine, so I have no idea what the hell JJS is, but some sort of a wine cap. Did get uh, some uh, can slaw. I also got uh, some sunglass uh, arms. I did get this piece of uh, copper, copper wire, some toenail clippers. I got a plastic bottle cap as always. Got this kind of odd iron fishing weight. Hardly ever find those. It's kind of weird that they make them out of iron, to be totally honest with you. Part of a, an old car. Uh, did get a whole lot of different globulites and different uh, you know, sizes and shapes. So um, globulites are plenty. Got a little bit of copper uh, junk. Got uh, a couple pieces of stainless steel hardware. Also got this tiny piece of a fork. Um, I did get a few fishing weights as we had the discussion about the uh, split shots and whatnot. And as you can see, um, this guy is an old one, but there were no old targets near it. So it just happened to be randomly laying there. Did get, <laughs> you ready for this, a working lighter. So probably uh, value-wise, the best thing I found out there. Got an old pull tab, a new pull tab. The coolest thing to me is this bullet. I just think that is so cool. It's huge, absolutely huge. And I got another one almost identical to it, I don't know, maybe a month ago uh, or so. Did also get a zinc penny, a uh, dime, and a copper penny. So really 11 and no cents because this thing's absolutely not spendable. So... That's going to go in the big giant jar of uh, unspendable pennies. And then, if you're ready for it, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that bling. Uh, that is absolute junk jewelry. Um, it's some sort of a religious uh, either anklet or bracelet. Um, again, worthless, but it sparkled so nice when uh, it came out of the hole. Gave me a little bit of a heart attack thinking it might have been a real one. But it isn't, so uh, another piece of junk jewelry. So fool's gold again. I think what I'm going to do just to make myself feel better, also let you guys know that uh, I don't only find junk. Um, 
I uh, 2023 has actually been, believe it or not, my best gold year ever. Now, I've come up with a, a saying that I like to say, which is the best way to stop finding a lot of gold is to start filming. Um, the minute I started this YouTube channel, my gold count went significantly down. Uh, so um, I do think what I'm going to do is I, I had a couple crazy days uh, early in the year. January, February, March were just nuts. I've mentioned before my birthday was my all-time high. 22 pieces of gold, 13 of them were rings, four were uh, pendants, and five were chains. So pretty nutty stuff, but also just had a whole lot of other, you know, really nice gold finds, uh, January, February, um, March, April. I think I found one, maybe two rings in April, and, and after that, it just, just fell off the earth. So, um, but I do think what I'm going to do is maybe, you know, show some of that stuff. I found a lot of really cool old coins, too, lots of old silver coins, lots of silver jewelry. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of maybe bust out the collection of 2023 and uh, show that in one of my upcoming videos. So hopefully it doesn't bore you to death, but again, it'll make me feel better and maybe you guys won't think I'm such a kook. <laughs> Thanks. We have a giveaway. I'm going to be giving a shirt away, three rings, and a bracelet. So all of that is going to be the giveaway. We're going to call it the big giveaway. Celebrate 500 subscriptions. Thanks, you guys, again for subscribing. I really couldn't do it without you. My friend Matt donated a huge box of stainless steel, tungsten, and all sorts of other cool stuff. So this is from his collection. These are gifts from Matt. So thank you very much, Matt. You do get a shirt. It's got this logo on the front. It's got a bigger version on the back. So if you want to wear a jacket to cover the back, I totally get it. Just kidding. Um, this is a tungsten ring. This is size 13, or give a, at least that's what my sizer says. This is a size 11, and it's got a link uh, design, and it is stainless steel. And then this one, I believe, is also tungsten. It's, it's pretty heavy, but not as heavy as the other one. It's got a link design and a coin edge. Pretty cool. And that's size 10. So size 13, size 11, size 10. And then this, I don't know a lot about uh, religious stuff, but I believe it's Catholic um, bracelet. And if you're interested in that... Um, that goes along with this giveaway. So all of that's part of the same giveaway. And if you guys are interested in winning, do me a favor, really, really important, and put your comments in any of the videos from July 4th, July 7th, July 11th, July 14th, and July 18th. So in any of those five videos, you can make a comment. Um, and the comment needs to say big giveaway. Uh, there was some confusion. People said, hey, that's a really cool ring. And then later on said, whatever you do, don't put me in the uh, drawing because I don't want a ring. So if you're putting big giveaway, I know that that is exactly what we're talking about. You can say, hey, Mike, you've got amazing hair, big giveaway. Then you're in the drawing. So all of this is going to be one. Um, if you are interested in winning, please play to win. Please watch the video. If your name comes up, make sure you get me your address as soon as possible via email. Um, I do still have a couple of things that have not been um, claimed and other people want to win that stuff. So if you're playing this thing, play to win because other people really, really do want to win. And I don't want somebody losing out because they didn't, uh, you know, somebody won it, didn't want it. And somebody else who did want it didn't get their name pulled. And so you guys, everybody will have an opportunity to have five uh, drawings or five names in the drawing this time. So um, everybody will have the opportunity to put their name in five times. You'll be able to put comments in videos from July 4th, July 7th, July 11th, July 14th, and July 18th. And the giveaway will be on the 21st of July. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the well wishes and prayers for my wife uh, regarding her surgery. Uh, she is definitely getting better each and every day. And again, thank you guys so, so, so very much. Hey friends, Pirate Mike here. I have no idea why I do it, but I always have. Whenever I find a half dollar at the beach, I put it in my eye. I'm not sure if it's because it's the size and it seems like it should just fit. And uh, I'm hoping you enjoy my channel. Thank you again for watching.
Would really love it if you'd subscribe. Just go ahead and click on my head right here, or you can watch one of these two videos.